Okay, so I just wanted to say that, um, I'm trying to keep it quiet because there's people in here. Um, when you go back to the gym when you're almost 40 and you weigh 265 pounds and you haven't really worked out in like literally a decade, um, it's rough. And I just wanted to say for anybody else who is going back to the gym and starting off at like a much bigger weight than they're comfortable, you can totally do it. It sucks. Like, don't get me wrong, I uh, felt very self-conscious parading my happy ass around the gym um, just now. I just walked a mile, which sounds fucking stupid, but um, it actually took a lot for me to, to walk the whole mile because I'm fat right now, and that's okay because just because you're fat doesn't mean you're not beautiful. I am beautiful. I mean, I look a little rough right now, <laughs> but... Um, but yeah, like you can still be fat and beautiful and an awesome person and you just have to like not care. That's really what it is. You just have to not give a shit about what anybody else says. So um, I'm starting off my workout with one mile a day and then I'm going to, some dude, um, and then I'm going to follow it up with being in the pool. So wish me luck on that. I'll give you guys an update later. Hey guys, I just got done with my first workout in forever, and I suck. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm awesome for going. Um, I just wanted to share some of my thoughts on working out when you're just starting and when you're overweight. Um, I wanted to say, <sighs> develop tunnel vision. <laughs> um, don't look at anybody else. Um, I think it's a natural inclination to try to, you know, not try, but I think it's a natural inclination to look around at the other people at the gym and be like, oh, I'm not that, right? And the truth is you have absolutely no idea what type of a, uh, a journey they're on. Like you have no idea where they're at in their journey. Um, they might have been doing this their whole lives. They might have been doing this for five minutes. So like you can't judge people either direction. So if you don't want people to judge you for where you're at, don't judge other people for where they're at, be it positive or negative. Because I know when, and, and let me tell you my inclination, and then I realized that there was a flaw in that thinking. So my first inclination when I see someone who's very ripped and very beautiful and very athletic or thin, right, is that they must have always been that way, right? Which is nine times out of ten not true. Um, most people at the gym uh, saw something in themselves they didn't like and wanted to fix it, right? Um... There's a whole lot of people in there who have worked very hard for the body they have. And I mean, I've worked very hard for the body I have too. I've worked very hard eating lots of donuts and drinking soda. So I have worked hard for that body. And when I get better <laughs> and when I lose weight, I will have worked hard for that body too. And I wouldn't want somebody to judge me um, based on like two years from now if I'm looking really good, hopefully. Um, I wouldn't want somebody to judge me like I'm just some athletic bitch that shit comes easy for because it's not it's none of it's easy it's all hard and you can't judge people just because they're skinny either like some people have such high metabolism that they're doing everything that they can just to pack on muscle so just keep your eye on your own situation don't judge other people's situations just don't look at them don't talk to them don't I mean you can talk to them you can make friends at the gym but um just work on yourself um, and today I did one mile on the treadmill and then I swam for about 20 minutes um, because I feel like it's gonna be nicer on my joints um, uh, carrying around you know if you, I weigh 265 pounds which I can't fucking believe I got here but hey we're here um, so I really want to lose weight. I really want to, you know, not, I'm not trying to look like a fucking supermodel over here. I just don't want to have to have knee replacements when I'm older. And I want to still maintain a certain amount of mobility in my life. Um, I like being active. I like not being in pain. And I know way too many people that as they get older, they just quit, you know, like they don't try. And that's the thing you got to do is like, I'm about to turn 40. Now you got to try. <laughs> like you cannot just float on being 20 and be like, I'm young and invincible. This is fine. Nope. You got to go to the gym, bitch. So that's what we're doing. 
And I'm going to start making a little vlog of accountability here with all the other shit I'm doing. Like, I have time for anything. But I, but I like it. I like journaling stuff. I feel like it adds clarity to, um, to what you want. And then you can also look back on it. And you can see your progress and know the promises that you've kept for yourself. And yeah, I heard somebody about a week ago say that working out is the best gift you can give to yourself and that way too often we're so busy trying to build up everything else in our lives that we come last, you know? We feed ourselves shitty food and we don't go to the gym and it's because we're juggling everything else in our lives and so we put ourselves last on, on health, on sleep, um, on happiness a lot of times. Um, and even though I don't really consider myself an unhappy person, um, I'm gonna have to tell you guys the story about my, my, uh, my Pac-Man of happiness. Um, but, uh, uh, that'll be for a different video, but, um, but yeah, I'm happy with where I've started and I'm going to do good today. And that is one brick in a wall that I am building for myself. So, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll just talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.